look at Capitol Hill tonight where the southern border is back in the spotlight. House Republicans say they want accountability, which is why they moved forward with their two articles of impeachment against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Here's national correspondent Christine Frizzell with the very latest. House Republicans laying out their case on Capitol Hill in the impeachment of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas for one, willful and systematic refusal to comply with the law, and two, breach of public trust. We cannot allow a cabinet secretary with no regard for the separation of powers or the rule of law to remain in office. GOP members of the House Homeland Security Committee blaming Mayorkas for the record number of migrants coming to the southern border. Secretary Mayorkas sending a letter to the committee just before the hearing, writing, we need a legislative solution and only Congress can provide it, adding, your false accusations do not rattle me, as Democrats insist the entire effort is to appease former President Donald Trump. The extreme mega Republicans who are running the House of Representatives are deeply unserious people. They don't want progress. They don't want solutions. They want a political issue. Even if Republicans get enough votes in the full House to impeach Secretary Mayorkas, it's unlikely he'll be convicted in the Democrat-led Senate. The Senate, meanwhile, is working on bipartisan legislation to add more security after a year in which there were nearly 2.5 million apprehensions at the southwest border alone. It's brought about new urgent warnings. Former top FBI officials sending this letter to Congress, warning that military-aged men from across the globe Many from countries or regions not friendly to the United States are landing in waves on our soil by the thousands across a border that has been accurately advertised around the world as largely unprotected. They argue even those who are apprehended are not properly vetted. When we encounter a, a single adult man of military age from Lebanon, do you think the Lebanese governor are working with us closely to identify whether he's a member of, of uh, uh, Hezbollah before he's being released in the United States? No, it's not happening. The security of the homeland, a top concern as the southern border and the country remains overwhelmed. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting.